The Spider Isekai is another case of trying to subvert a few things, only to fail in the long run because you focus on the wrong things. One twist the anime went for was about having two storylines developing independently while at the same time feeding off each other. In one story you had the main heroine getting reincarnated as a spider and having to survive in a very dangerous cave, and in the other story it was about her fellow students reincarnating as various people and monsters in the human world where they are given proper upbringing and military training. The antithesis of seeing the spider having to fight hard in order to survive while the humans are having a mostly easy-going life was funny for a few episodes. Another twist in the second half of the show is the characters helping out the Demon Lord. Instead of having the heroes being the good guys who are gradually leveling up in order to defeat some distant evil party, in this show they become the evil party. With proper representation, the anime could have been a very good subversion of a down-to-death formula. But, as I mentioned already, the presentation was far from perfect for the following reasons. Number 1. The production values are not very good. The CGI monsters are standing out too much and that takes you out of the experience. The artwork is also getting worse after a while, resulting in the final episodes where things get more serious and should be given more attention to come off as very ugly to look at. Number 2. The tone shifts are not transitioning well. When the show wants to move from comedy to tragedy or from light-hearted moments to more grim-dark ones, it usually does it in a sudden way which again takes you out of the experience. For example, the spider is constantly joking about things that a second later will try to kill her, and that can be very jarring. Number 3. The storylines are uneven. Instead of being treated as equally important, the spider side of the story is far more interesting than the human side. Every time the scene changes to show what the humans are doing, it can be very boring since it comes off as a generic fantasy adventure with way too many blunt characters who are doing close to nothing. As a result, you never care about the humans as much as you care about the spider, which means half of the show is very bland. And number 4. The video game terminology is off-putting. Since everyone has levels and skill trees, you get this constant narration of an AI telling you how many experience points you earned and what skills you unlocked. If you are not fine with everything playing out like a video game, you are not gonna like this show. In traditional stories, you learn something new by studying or training. Over here it just appears as an extra ability in your mind because you did something. It's artificial since it doesn't happen in an organic way, and it's always followed by huge info dumps and statistic screens. Thus, despite its good intentions, the spider isekai is another failure of an anime that doesn't improve the image of isekais as overused, badly written and badly presented escapism.